I'm here at the 2025 Spring MRS meeting to talk about my theoretical research aimed at predicting nanocrystal shapes. Their properties are dependent on their shapes and their shapes can be tuned and they have all kinds of amazing properties as catalysts. Catalysis is as old as the hills, but as we are able to make nanocrystals with more and more selective shapes, we get catalysts that perform their function better. If a chemical reaction can go to product A or B, if it goes to A and you want A, then it has high selectivity, then uh, we can design a catalyst to go to that to make product A. And then there's less waste and it's more energy efficient. And so my work is aimed at predicting how you would make those shapes. In fact, from theory, we, we know how to predict like reactivity and selectivity down to a few atom clusters. Very local atomic environment, but the problem is making that local atomic environment. And so my research addresses more on that area. How do we make a catalyst that has those particular sites that are the best? And that will save a lot of energy. An amazing thing that I'm gonna talk about today are nanowires. Silver nanowires have so many applications because when you make them a nano diameter, they're flexible. And silver has like one of the highest electrical conductivities there is. And people are using that to all kinds of ends, into new devices using uh, their triboelectric devices so that aim at energy efficiency. So you can have health monitoring device like your pulse or your salivation or your respiration or your temperature and it's powered on your emotion. They have plasmonic properties that are exquisitely uh, sensitive to their um, size and shape. This um, controls how they interact with light and so this is good for solar cells, photocatalysis, and now people are making multifunctional nanoparticles that can say walk and chew gum at the same time. So there's some of the latest efforts that are just being researched are, okay, we want to convert biomass, which is all around us, wood and you know trees and grass, to convert that into useful properties using sunlight through a catalyst. So it, it's like just aiming at sustainability and energy efficiency. Smart has many facets. There's smart windows. So a window, okay, you can see out the window and that's great. That's what a window is for. But windows can do more than that. It turns out most of the heat loss from a building goes out the window. So a smart window has a film containing nanoparticles as a component. The best to date is um, vanadium uh, dioxide uh, with silver nanowires, and they prevent heat loss in the winter, and they keep the building cooler in the summer. And so that's an example of something smart. Smart fabrics that, you know, they can weave nano materials into the fabric. It can keep you warmer, so it can be like a personal heater. It can monitor your body functions. And there's e-skin, so they're putting nanoparticles in a polymer membrane that's flexible and stretchable. So a lot of this is for health monitoring right now, but you can control a drone with some implants that they put on your skin. It all hinges on nanomaterials. Getting back, I'm a theoretician and I model how these are made. What are the processing routes? What's the best way? Not just can I tell a person, you know, oh, you should make this, it'll be better. I, I'm more into how do you make that? You have to be able to use quantum mechanics because you need to model re chemical reactions and bonds breaking and forming, and that's hard without quantum mechanics. But you need to be able to go up to a device level. You know, it takes many theoretical methods, so those developments are very important. Just finding more application, you know, having clean water is really important, you know, and desalination is like we have so much ocean water and if you can get the salt out of it, that's wonderful. Now people are making 
these devices that, that they work on copper nanoparticles where there's an electrochemical reaction going on that's mitigating CO2 and at the same time it's dr the current is driving salt ions to be separated from fresh water. It toasts your bread and butters it too. I would hope and I think that's where the future is going. Just more applications that are improving the quality of our life and energy efficiency and sustainability at the same time. And uh, that's where I think the future is going. You want more MatSci? Well, don't go anywhere. Click right here to watch all of our content from the 2025 MRS Spring Meeting. Have fun.